Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? It's Enrique, and this is Enzymar TV. This is Critique Corner, Critique Corner. Um, let me tell you what Critique Corner is. Critique Corner is basically where you send me drawings of yours, and I give you my critique. Uh, I am not a master by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I have been drawing for a long time, though, and I do know a few things. You know what I mean? It's also good to get another person's perspective on, you know, a drawing. It's always good. So I give you my candid opinions as well candid meaning uh candid meaning this is the first time I'm really going to look at it you know what i mean i kind of looked at it when i had to you know i had to save it to my computer but i really haven't thought about what i was going to say I haven't thought about any of that honestly so it'll be you know kind of amusing to see what you know what it is that i have to say if you want to send something in send it to one second let me change the color of that and this awful font at least awful for this purpose Send it to Omega. Wow, let me see. That sucks. Let me write it out and I'll shrink it. God, that sucks. Let me see. Omega Man 20 at gmail.com. Just send it in to Omega Man 20 at gmail.com. And I want you to label it Critique Corner or CC or whatever, just so I know exactly what it is. Because I use that, e you know, the emails for like other stuff from this site. So um, if you want to send something in to be critiqued, you know, on this program, it's every uh, Sunday. Every Sunday I'm going to be uploading, uh, you know, this to my YouTube channel, you know, one of these. So please do it. It'll be fun. And I uh, can use more. There's definitely a lot in the can, though. There's definitely a lot coming up, though. So, all right, guys, let's get into this. I'm going to. Just gonna give you an idea. Number first thing I gotta do, you know, it's it's a photo, so also you know I need to uh, kind of change the uh, the value there, just so I can see it a little bit better. You know, the photo is a little bit small, and it was kind of you know the, the lighting was a little off. This was sent in by AJ, and uh, let me go on with another layer. Looks really good. I mean, really good. Honestly, I would have said like the value would have been an issue, but no. Let me see. Looks super good. I like that. He's vignetting it. You know, you're kind of fading away over here. It's like, um, what I would, uh, my opinion would be to kind of like, and you got to, please bear with me because the resolution on the image that um, he gave me is, it's kind of small, you know what I mean? So um, try to send in, you know, you know, the higher res, the better, you know. Uh, but you can still see a couple of things. It looks really good overall. I like, I would say make some of these lines sharper up here. You know, they're kind of muddy. You can tell even with, uh, you know, the pixelation going on. I would say, uh, and I'm just kind of cleaning it up. It's just sharpening it up because some of the lines seem a little bit wobbly. Even, uh, I, I believe that might partially be put pixelation though. So yeah, bear with me with that. Um, that's just the first thing that comes up to me is just some of the lines right here are a little, a little uh, odd, you know, despite the pixelation. But the other big thing that really sticks out to me would be the, if I squint, these lines right here, which I guess is true, these are the focal point in some way, they're really, really dark, like especially right uh, in this area, you know. They're really dark. They're way darker than the eyes, and I always think that even though his eyes glow, you know, the, the, you know, the reason it looks like it's glowing is because... It's uh, that really, really white glow in Iron Man's eye is next to kind of the dark, you know, areas of uh, other parts of his eye. You know, so I would actually like for this line drawing, I would, you know, just darken up the lines around his eye because I always think that's his, it's his exact focal point. You know, I can't really speak for the design of Iron Man himself, you know, because there's so many designs. So, I mean, that, that's going to be pretty varied from person to person. I mean, from design to design, you know. You can kind of draw almost any way you, you can. It's pretty even. Uh, I'm looking at this. I'm, I'm going to say way more, you know, 
I love a lot more of what's right with it. I mean, there's so much more right with it, really, you know. And this is another one of those cases of, you know, uh, it would really just be to keep pushing it further, maybe. Maybe put some of the screws in, things like that. Because see, I've already got the bra the general design down very well, too. See how even it is? I mean, it doesn't have to be even all the time, but it's a good idea to do that, you know, because Iron Man's a robot, so he's probably going to be pretty even. Yeah, everything's looking really good. Uh, I dig it. Yeah, I think this is really good. Tilt of his head, really good. Honestly, that's all I have to say. This is going to be, I'm sorry, this is going to be a little, like slightly shorter one. I only have that to say, really, is that there's some of the lines up here are kind of fuzzy. You know what I mean? Like that, see that dark right there over here? And there's no dark over here. That might be due because of, this, you know, where the light's coming from. Um, but that's kind of really it. This is mostly a line drawing. I would... I, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say, really. It's just the fuzziness of some of these lines, which could be cleaned up. Plus, some of the lines down here are just uh, way too dark, you know, without it. Look at it without it. You know, and that's just, like, finessing. This is, like, little, little tiny changes, you know. And I would say, so, let me run through them again, you know. One, the fuzziness up here, you know, despite the pixelation. There's fuzziness up around, just in general, just kind of general funkiness, you know. That uh, actually, one thing. Let me say this, because I just noticed it. You know, see how this is curving right here? This line. That's good, right? You don't have that so much. This one's kind of straight. I've noticed. You could probably curve that as well. You know, little little stuff like that. You know. So to kind of go over it again, all all of it, fuzziness up here. I would kind of sharpen a lot of stuff out. I would uh, also make the lines more in the focal point of his eyes. And I would uh, kind of make these a little bit darker. Not as dark as I'm doing there, but I would make those at least as dark as the ones down here, the lines down here. And uh, lastly, I would just kind of like remember the curvature of the head right here, just with that particular, this particular line, you know. And that's kind of all I can really say right now. Does anybody else have any feedback out there? I love the feedback from you guys watching also because that really helps me a lot because I really feel like I'm missing something like in terms of what else to say. Uh, I just can't, I'm not sure, you know. Um, do you guys have any ideas out there? I really want, uh, really need your help on this. <laughs> I really want your help on this, guys. People watching, let me know what you think of this, you know, crit, crit it yourself, you know, and post it in the comments below. I really want to see it. Uh, thanks a lot, AJ. Really amazing job. Great. Keep pushing it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me flash the email one more time. If you guys want to have a critique, put that up here. You can send it to omegaman20 at gmail.com. Send a JPEG or whatever, just a picture file to this. Label it uh, Critique Corner or CC. And uh, I'm going to look at it and I'll, I'll put you, you know, on this uh, little segment here. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope it uh, wasn't too short of a video. Talk to you later.